Hey guys, welcome back. This is Saif with another tutorial from tech for all In this tutorial, I will show you guys how to set the taskbar icons to never combine in Windows 11. Or simply, you can say that how to ungroup the taskbar icons in Windows 11. Let's start. By default, Microsoft has removed the setting to never combine the taskbar icons from Windows 11, which we previously had in Windows 10, Windows 8.1, and Windows 7. As you can see guys that I have opened three Firefox windows in here. Whenever I want to open a specific window I have to hover on the mouse and then select the specific window. If I want to switch from one window to other window I have to hover the mouse on Firefox icon again and go to the second window. For users who have multiple tabs and multiple applications opened it will be very hard to switch from one tab to other tab and from one window to other window. Let me show you the current taskbar setting by right clicking on the taskbar and go to taskbar settings. When you scroll down in the taskbar behaviors, you can see that there is no setting to never combine or ungroup the taskbar icons. In this video, I will show you guys how to set icons to never combine or how to ungroup the taskbar icons using two third-party applications by the name of Start11 and Start All Back applications. First of all, open a web browser and navigate to this link. I have put down the link down below in the video description. Click on the download button to download the Start11 application. In this page, you have to choose one of the two options that you have for the download. The first one is the free version with one active installation, which you can install it only once. And the second is for multi-device, which you can install up to five times. I will go with the first option and try for the 30 days of trial. Click on try free for 30 days. The download will start automatically. Let's wait for the download until it is finished. After the application is downloaded, open the downloads folder. Right click on the application and run it as administrator. In the user account control, click on yes. Select I agree the terms of the license agreement and click on the next button. Click on the next button again. After the installation, it will automatically launch the application. Here it is prompt that whether you want to enter the product key, purchase a product key, or you want to start the 30 days of trial. I will use the application as a trial, so I will go with the third option. Here you need to enter an email to start your trial period. Click on the continue button. Stardoc has sent a verification email to the email address which we provided. Let's check our email address. After you have opened the email, scroll down and click on activate 30 day of trial. A new tab will be opened where it says the trial validation was successful. Switch back to the application. Let's minimize the window. Here, as you can see, Start11 trial is now activated. Click on Finish. In the Start menu style, you have to choose the Windows 11 style and go to the taskbar settings. Enable the Enhance the taskbar option and click on the Yes button. Taskbar icons should be combined. If it is selected always, click on the Never button and the taskbar icons will never be combined or grouped again. Click on the More Start 11 taskbar settings. Here you have an option that if you enable this, you will be able to resize the taskbar as I am currently resizing it. And also you have an option to horizontally center the taskbar icons. Simply toggle it on. And also you can vertically center the taskbar items. Toggle this option also on. You have other options to play with. Now let's jump to the second application which is Start All Back. Before we go to the second option, 
if you have installed any application which is used to customize the taskbar settings, you have to uninstall it first because start all back will not be compatible with other applications and all of the settings might not work correctly. So let's uninstall the start 11 option by simply opening run and typing appways.cpl which will open the program and features of control panel. Here I need to search for start 11 and I will uninstall it. Click on next. Select this option to remove the settings also. Click on next again and wait until the start 11 application is removed. It will open a page and ask for your feedback that why you have uninstalled it. Let's close this page. Click on the finish button to finish the uninstallation process. Here it asks you that do you want to reboot your PC? Click on no. And you are all set. For the second application, open our web browser again and navigate to this link. I have put down the link down below in the video description. Scroll down and then click on the download button. As of making this video, the updated version is 3.3.5. Click on the download button. It is a very simple and a very small application. The size is 1.6 MB. Open the downloads folder. Right click on the application and run it as administrator. Click on yes. If you want to install it for everyone, go with the second option, but I want to install it only for my account. So I will go with the first option. It will automatically restart the file explorer. Now click on the start all back application in the taskbar. In the welcome screen, choose proper Windows 11 and go to taskbar settings. Under the taskbar, if the enhanced classic taskbar is turned off, you need to turn it on. To ungroup or to set the taskbar icons to never combine, select this option, combine taskbar buttons from the drop down if it is always or if it is when the taskbar is full, select never. If you want the Windows 11 settings, use this option to center the taskbar icons. From the drop down, if you select separately from the start button, it will put the start button in the left side and the taskbar icons will be in the middle. But I want the start button and all the applications together in the center. So I will go with the second option. And you are done. And that's all for today guys. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I will catch you very soon with another tutorial. Till then, have a nice time.